the Patent Trial and Appeal Board is an administrative court that's actually part of the Patent Office. And it's, uh, it's only been in existence since September 2012. It was put into law by Congress September 2011 as part of the uh, America Invents Act, uh, the patent reforms that Congress implemented to improve patent quality. And it has uh, really three basic functions. One is to hear appeals from rejections of patent applications. It also considers appeals of uh, re-examinations done by the Patent Office. The third thing it does is new. It actually conducts contested proceedings. Uh, these are like litigations where you can challenge uh, patents after they've been issued. There are three different types, but the most popular one so far is called an inter-parties review. There are about 500 reviews that have been filed in just about a year, making the uh, Patent Trial and Appeal Board the third most popular venue in the country for challenging patents. If you're going to take a case to the Patent Trial and Appeal Board, you should make sure first you have a winning hand because these are a bunch of experts you're dealing with. And experts, uh, unlike juries, are more likely to make fine distinctions. They may invalidate some claims of the patent, but not others. And for the challenger, if you win on some of the claims, but there's only one claim that's left and it's still valid, well, you didn't really win um, because all the patent owner needs is one valid claim to be infringed. So you have to be beware that um, sometimes going to the board, as much as they're experts, as much as they're fast and inexpensive, uh, it, it may not be right for every case.